Hello everybody, time for game four, let's battle. Okay, so this hand's pretty decent I would say, double Ikaria is a bit awkward, but it might just be good enough to keep we are up against Joey Jojo Jr. I think he has been on mid-range or control every time the last bunch of days that I faced him, so it should be okay. But yeah, I could see redrawing this hand. Double Ikaria is a bit awkward. Seems like our opponent is AFK. Oh, he is back. Okay. Less nice one. But yeah, it's going reasonably well. We have 5 power now. This is the 6, so we are almost there. Okay. So, time to ultimate Ikaria of all our stuff. 4-4 four, four Valkyrie and Forces are also pretty nice actually. And yeah, basically if we get this to die, we have all the power we need for turn 6, turn 7 Ikaria, which is pretty powerful actually. Okay, so this is actually pretty convenient for our influence. So we'll just play these. This should have actually played this over the waste on. Miscounted the power we have. But yeah, we can just suicide those into stuff. Actually should have played Enforcer and attacked for one more. But it's fine. We can still just play play Titan and get more justice for our other Ikaria. But yeah. Ikaria into Ikaria should beat Elysian Midrange into Submission or Shimmer Pack or whatever it is. Might be Shimmer Pack because of the strategize and Finkel is in like the top five with Shimmer Pack I think or was yesterday anyway. We no care. <laughs> we just turn 6, turn 7 Ikaria and we like shimmer pack this. <clears throat> Rise up or be cut down. Yep, no point in attacking with anything else at this point. Ha! Bam! And next turn we can just potentially a space even. Because this is gonna be a 4-3 and we have two Ikarias and he kind of wants to double block Ikaria. And if he doesn't and just eats those two, he still takes 14. Wouldn't care less. That's good. Okay, so this means Just attack with this. Penetrate here and double block there. Yeah, I think I like attack with everything still. He takes 8, we get more Ikari, I war cries. And I draw a Jainam a thing, one that an Elysian deck like this is poorly equipped to deal with usually. Yeah, he went for this. Okay, he takes 12 even. Didn't see that one coming, I guess. Guess he wants to kill her one. This 
The thing is now if we draw an, a removal of silence for the Titan, he instantly dead. Okay, that's good. And give this endurance. He already gave this endurance. Um, yeah, no. Not really much point in double blocking them. The grace of Elysia guide you. Okay, that's a lot of action here. But yeah, we get the the war cry, so I think it's worth it. Plus otherwise we might just like lose on the backswing. Given that we didn't draw the buff yet, that's actually pretty tricky. Okay, so here we kill this. And then hit this. Finish that off. And that means we need to play this to stay alive at one. And then hope to draw something that is alive. But we probably won't. Really unfortunate to like, draw a bunch of power when you have... What, five Ikaria triggers at least? Yeah, I think five. And now we probably just draw like a random unit that is plus 25, plus 25. And win on this board. Well, it's an Ikaria, but it's barely not enough because he had another unit. Now he can jump and then jump attack. One turn too late. One turn too late. That's very disappointing. Alright. But yeah, 3 1. Happens. Not much we can do. Okay, that's it for game four. We are three and one. Two more games to go. Don't go anywhere yet. Game five is around the corner. <laughs>